So new tonight on Eyewitness News at 5, shopping baskets keep vanishing from grocery stores all over our state. It's being called an unintended consequence of the plastic bag tax. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galal shows us what stores are trying to do to stop this from happening. At Geisler Supermarket in Windsor, plastic bags are not an option. Pay 10 cents for a paper bag or bring a reusable one. But sometimes people forget their reusable bags at home or in their car. A lot of people are unwilling to, you know, to buy new bags since they have them, you know. So uh, sometimes we'll, you know, they'll take our, our baskets out to the car and, you know, they'll never come back. Brett is the manager of Geisler's. He says in the past few days alone, at least 10 baskets have gone missing from this grocery store. The baskets cost somewhere between 6 and $10, which doesn't sound like a lot. But it adds up and, you know, everything, you know, when you start losing money like that, you know, all those costs get passed along. The Connecticut Food Association says it's an issue many stores are facing since the plastic bag tax went into effect last August. It is statewide. Mm -hmm. um, it is it is uh, widespread. Um, in some instances, some retailers have lost 60 to 70 percent of their inventory. The nonprofit represents more than 300 grocery store retailers on various issues. And while Wayne says the tax is successfully helping eliminate plastic, the association is now trying to help stores find ways to stop the problem from happening continuously. Associates are being trained to look for it. Some stores will offer up free reusable bags. And the hope is that as more and more people get used to the plastic bag tax, they'll also remember the reusable bags. That way, they won't have to resort to taking the shopping baskets without returning them. Reporting in Windsor, Aya Channel 3, Eyewitness News.